This is LMDE3 Linux Mint Debian Edition with the Cinnamon Desktop. As far as the desktop itself is concerned, it's virtually identical to the Cinnamon Desktop for Linux Mint 19, which is based on Ubuntu 18.04, but this is not based on Ubuntu at all. It's based on Debian 9 Stretch. Now, a while ago, I did two videos on Linux Mint 19 with the Cinnamon desktop. This one, Linux Mint 19 Cinnamon, and this one, Linux Mint 19 Customizing Cinnamon. And virtually everything I said about the Cinnamon desktop in those videos would apply to Linux Mint Debian Edition. So I'm going to refer to those in the notes below the video rather than repeat myself. However, you could also find them by going to my channel and clicking on videos. You'll notice a few differences between the Debian repositories and Ubuntu 18.04. One of the major things is that the software is a lot older in Debian Stable. For instance, under LibreOffice, this is version 5.2.7.2, and in Ubuntu 18.04 it's version 6.0.1. So if you want the latest software or need the latest software, this may not be your best choice. However, there are options. I'm going to go to the software store, software manager, and when this opens you'll see it's almost identical to GNOME software with a different name. And I'm going to go down here to Flatpak and search for LibreOffice. There it is. And this is version 6.1.0.3, very close to the latest version. I'm going to install the Flatpak simply by clicking on install. There's additional software, so I'll click on continue. And now it's installing. Took a while, but it's installed. So I'm going to close the software manager and go back to the menu. And you see I have two LibreOffices. It really doesn't distinguish between them except that the newest one is in bold type. So I'm going to go there. And there is LibreOffice. Version 6.1.0.3. So I'm going to open up Synaptic Package Manager. Administration, Synaptic Package Manager. Enter my password. Click on Authenticate. Now I'm going to search for LibreOffice. As usual with Synaptic, you have to scroll down sometimes to 
find out exactly what you're looking for. Well, this is LibreOffice 5.2.7. According to this, the meta package isn't even installed. That's kind of strange. Mark for removal. Mark for removal. Mark for removal. Looks like I got everything, so I'm going to click on Apply. Change is applied. Close. And let me see what I have here in the menu. Office. It's only one version, and it's version 6.1.0.3. But this is a flat pack, so you can get over the disadvantage of having rather old software. A few things are more up to date in Linux Mint Debian Edition than they are in Debian Stretch itself. For one thing, this is Firefox Quantum version 60.1, whereas in Debian, you get Firefox ESR, which is usually quite a ways behind. But there are some advantages that Debian Stable has over Ubuntu, and among them are things that don't work very well in Ubuntu that still work in Debian. I mentioned several times that installing my Epson scanner was rather tricky in Ubuntu and I produced a video showing how to do it. Well, it works just fine in Debian Stable. No problems at all. Another thing that didn't work in Ubuntu was GNOME boxes. Let me try Synaptic again. Enter my password, click on Authenticate. Search for GNOME-Boxes. And it's there. I'm going to click on this. Mark for installation. Mark additional required changes and apply. Now let me see if GNOME Boxes works. Where would I find that? Boxes. 
under administration. So I'm going to click on new and then select a file. I'm going to go to downloads and I've only got Lubuntu 1804 there so I'm going to open that. Box setup failed. Source selection. So I'm going to do something else here. Previously with Linux Mint I found that uh, QEMU was missing and once I installed that the GNOME boxes worked fine. So I'm going to go back to Synaptic. Authenticate. And I'm going to search for QEMU. Again, you have to scroll down to find what you're looking for. And it's not installed. So let me install that. Mark for installation. Mark. Apply. That's installed. I'm going to click on close. Wait for it to repopulate. Now I'm going to try boxes again. I'm just going to type it in. There it is. I'm going to click on new, select a file, downloads, and Lubuntu 18.04. And it's working so far. Create. So it works. All it needs is QEMU. By the way, I did try installing QEMU in Ubuntu 18.04 and it didn't do any good. Now I'm going to leave out all of the dead space here. And Ubuntu is loading. And there's the Lubuntu desktop. There's the menu, etc. So GNOME Boxes works in Debian Stretch and it does not work in Ubuntu 18.04. There are probably many other things that work in Debian Stretch that don't work in Ubuntu 18.04 too. I'm going to shut this down. So let me just take a quick look at what's installed here. Under accessories, here's the archive manager, calculator, character map, disks, document viewer, files, font viewer, image viewer, passwords and keys, redshift, screenshot, text editor, tomboy notes, USB image writer, USB stick formatter. You don't need that if you have GNOME disks. Virtual keyboard. Under education, LibreOffice Math. Under graphics, you have GIMP, and it happens to be version 2.08, which is not the latest, 
but I'm still using version 2.08 on my internal disk, so that's fine with me. We have LibreOffice Draw, Pix, and Simple Scan. Internet, you have Firefox, Hexchat, Thunderbird, and Transmission. Office, you have my newly installed Flatpak version of LibreOffice. And you had the old, old version. And you have Calendar. Under Sound and Video, you have the Media Player, Rhythm Box, Simple Screen Recorder, which I installed, and VLC Media Player. And the Universal Access, you have Onboard, which is the on-screen keyboard. And you can get other accessibility tools. Under administration, you have the backup tool, boxes, disk usage analyzer, login window, logs, power statistics, print settings, software manager, software sources, synaptic package manager, system monitor, terminal, and time shift. And then we scroll down to, to update manager and users and groups. I'm going to just go to Update Manager for a minute, and I'll show you why. And I have the same problem here that I had with Mint 19 Cinnamon, and that is that the window on the Update Manager goes below the panel, so part of it is invisible. So that's a problem with Mint, apparently, with the Mint Cinnamon desktop. So where was I here? Administration, Preferences, you have Accessibility, Account Details, Adobe Flash Player, Applets, Backgrounds, Bluetooth, Color, Date and Time, Desklets, Desktop, Display, Effects, Extensions, Firewall configuration fonts, general, graphics tablet, hot corners, input method, keyboard, languages, mouse and touchpad, network, network connections, notifications, and under places you have documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads. Then you have the 500 gigabyte volume, which is my internal drive, and 168 gigabyte volume which is another partition on my external drive from which I'm operating this system. Now I did enable hot corners as I did in uh, Mint 19 Cinnamon and as before it shows the minimized applications as well as the unminimized ones. So basically this is what I use for task switching in Cinnamon. And I use the same background as I used with my review of Mint 19. And as before, of course, you can change it if you want. I happen to like this one. That's this abstraction by Jan Kaluza. But you have all these others too, which are easy to get. So aside from the fact that you're using Debian instead of Ubuntu, it's essentially the same. If you're used to operating Linux Mint Cinnamon, you can easily operate Linux Mint Debian Edition Cinnamon. So you decide based on the pros and cons that I mentioned and any other pros and cons you may become aware of. But this is a very viable option. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.